In this tutorial, we are going to solve some questions under work, energy, and power. So I've got a number of questions with me here, about seven of them. So I'll solve all of them. I want you guys to follow me step by step. Yeah, so let's begin. The first question is saying a block of mass 2.5 kg is pushed 2.2 meters along a friction, a frictionless horizontal table by a constant 16.0 newton force directed at 25 degrees below the horizontal so now the question is determine the work done on the block by but a by the applied force but b by the normal force um but c by the gravitational force but d will determine the total work done on the block so there we go the best thing to understand, the best thing to solve this question is we come up with a free body diagram. What is happening? We can clearly see that we have got in a block which is being pushed at an angle. So here is a block being pushed at an angle and we have been told that the angle is 25 degrees. The force that is pushing this object 16 newtons. So it has been pushed from this point all the way to that point. And we've been told that the is 25 degrees. We still have the force as 16 newtons. The distance from this point to that point, we've been told that it is 5, 2.2 meters. There is no friction at all. So what is the work done by this force? So the work done, that is part A. The work done by the applied force, I'll just say that by the applied force, is given by... Now, we are, we are getting the dielectric, we are getting the component of the force if the force has been applied at an angle. We are getting the component of the force that is in the same direction with the displacement. Okay? So we are getting the component of the force that is parallel to the displacement. So in this case, the force has been applied at an angle. I have got the x component and the y component. Okay? So that's my fx and that's my fy. So I have to get the component which is in the same line with the displacement. So in this case, it is Fx. Then I do time displacement. But Fx, according to Sokatoa, is F cos theta, if I use Sokatoa here. So the work done by the applied force will be equal to F cos theta times D. Now we can clearly see that the force F itself is 16. Because the angle is 25 times the displacement 2.2. So the work done by the applied force, if I use my calculator here, 16 cos 25 times 2.2. So I'm getting 31.9. 31.9 joules is my work done by the applied force. Now, if I go to part B saying, determine the, the uh, work done by the block or on the block by the normal force. So the normal force is always acting perpendicular to the surface here. Okay, that's the normal force. Now one thing I want you to understand here is this. When you're talking about the normal force, the displacement is in this direction, the normal force is Z. So the displacement and the force, the displacement and the normal force, they are perpendicular to each other. They are making 90 degrees. Definitely the angle there is 90. So meaning, if I do work done by the normal force, it's going to be force F cos theta times D. So, now if I plug in 16 cos 90 
times 2.2 this is going to give me 0 because 90 is 0 okay so now in most cases there is no need of us now finding what the, the work done by the normal force is it's, it's, it's basically 0 because it is making 90 degrees so in this case I'm going to say um, the work done by the normal force if I do the calculations here I'll find that it's going to give me 0 joules same thing with gravitational because gravitational is in the straight line with the normal force so I'll do the same the work done by the gravitational force now the angle here which I have is still if I start from here it will still give me 90 if I start from there it's going to give me 270 which is basically the same thing so it will be F cos theta times D so if I do 16 cos 90 times 2.2 .2, I'll still end up having 0 joules Now, the next part is saying we determine the total uh, work done by the object. So, we add all the work we have found for part A, B, C. So, part B, C is zero. So, the total work will just basically be zero plus zero plus 39.30. That. So, I end up having 39.30. 1.9 joules as the final answer for part D. So that is it for the first question. So we go to question 2. So the question 2 is saying the force acting on a particle varies as in the figure below. Find the work done by the force on the particle as it moves but A from X, from X is equal to 0 x is equal to 8. Now, I, what I want you guys to understand is that if you have been given the graph, get me right there, if you have been given the graph and that graph is the force versus the displacement, the work done under the graph, the work done under the graph is equal to the area of that curve. Very simple. What do I mean? So from x is equal to 0, it is at this point, and x is equal to 8 is at this point. So I need to find the area under this curve. If I find the area under this curve, that is going to be my answer. That is going to be my work. Now, what I mean is this. Um, here, we basically have, let's assume that we have got this kind of a shape. So if this is the force and this is the displacement, and we definitely know that work is given by force times the displacement. So that's why I said, if I say L times B, it's basically the same thing. Area is equal to L times B. It's the same as you say area is equal to force times X. That's why I'm telling you to say, if you have been given the graph, and the graph which you have been given, you have got the force in, X, in Y axis and the displacement in X axis, and you have been told to find the work done. The moment you find the area under that curve, that is your work done. So in this case, I need just to find the, the, the area under this curve, which I've just shaded here. So what do I mean? Now, this shape here, for me to solve it properly, I can divide it into two. If I divide it in between here, meaning I'm going to have two triangles. I have got the first one, this one, the second one, that one. So I'll call this one triangle one, I'll call this triangle two. Meaning, I want to find, I'll say the work done for the first one is going to be, so now I'm, I'm, kind, I'm trying to find the area one, okay? So I'll say the work done, area one is going to be given half BH, okay? So area one is equal to, now half, what is the breadth? From this point here, all the way to that point is basically 4. What is the height? The height is from this point to that point, which is 6. So 2 and D, 2 there will go. I will remain with 2. So 2 times 6 is basically what? It's 12. 
that's the first area now I need also to find the second one so I'll say area is equal to area 2 so that will be equal to half BH so half the bridge is now from 4 all the way to 8 again it is 4 the height is the same again it is 6 so 2 there 2 there that so I'll end up having that to be 12 joules so I need to find the question is we're trying to find the work done from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 8 so I need to find the total work now which is I'll say the work um, from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 8 is equal to w1 plus work 2 so which is going to give me 12 plus 12 and I'll end up having 24 jaws as my final answer okay then part b part b is saying from x is equal to 8 and x is equal to from x is equal to 8 and x is equal to 10 so now here I'll just go back again here from x is equal to 8 and x is equal to 10 it is that this point so I'm trying to find the area under that curve so still I'll say work will be equal to still I'll do half bh because it's a, it's a triangle so half what is b so b in this case is from this point this is 8 so this is 8 from 8 here all the way to 10 that is 2 okay now from this point here we can guess that force is a, it's a vector quantity so from this point reaching at that point it is 3 this line but it's negative because you're going to the negative side you put negative 3 2 and 2 will go so the work done will be negative 3 joules but, three, but C is saying find the work done from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 10 so this is basically the addition from 0 all the way to that point the addition of the first part because the first part we said x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 10 to, to 8 the first part here the second one x is equal to 8 to x is equal to 10 so now this x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 10 it's just basically adding part A and B okay so if I add but A and B is going to give me 24 plus negative 3. I'll end up having 21. That's the answer for part C. So that is it for question 2. It's not complicated as long as you know that you have been given the graph. Okay, cool. Let's try to find the work done. If you know how to find the area under that curve, then it is cool. That is the work done by that force. Okay, so we have similar question like question 3. So the question is the force acting on the particle is f of x or fx is equal to 8x minus 16 where x is in meters. Then part A, make the plot of this force versus uh, displacement from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 3. This is the simplest question. You know, when we have been given this, we have been told that we have f it's the same as f of x being equal to x like this now you want to plot the graph so you need first to find the force what point of force do you have from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 3 okay meaning the displacement which you have is x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3 so what will be the force when x is equal to 0 what would be the force when x is equal to 2 what would be the force when x is equal to 2 and when x is equal to 3 okay then now what you're going to do <coughs> is you have just to replace the values so here I'm going to say if I put f of 1 or f of 0 I'll start with 0 I put 0 16 I'll end up having negative 16 that's the first point I have now next when I put 1 
I'll have 8 times 1 minus 16. F of 1 will be negative 8 Newton. If I put F of 2, I'll have 8, 2 minus 16. So I end up having 16 minus 0, or minus 16, 16 is 0 Newton. Let's put 3. If I put 3, I'll have 8 times 3 minus 16. 8 times 3, 8 times 3 is 24. 24 minus 16 is basically 8. So I have these coordinates now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my graph here. Here is going to be my graph. So in X, I have got him. So I'll say X, then in meters. So here I'll put force in Newton. So this point is zero. Because the reason why I'm going to start from there because I've got negative numbers. So in X I've got 0, 1, 2, and 3. I'll put here 1, 2, and 3. Then now here, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start with 15 here to make things simple. 10, then I'll do 5, meaning there again here I'm going to have 5. Then I'm going to have 10. I have 15, 10. So these are negative now numbers because they are below 0. Then negative 5. So here I have 5, then I have 10. So when it comes for plotting, <coughs> I want you guys to understand this. When x is equal to 0, when x is 0, the force is 16. So 16 is just below negative 15 here. So it is somewhere here. Okay. Next, when x is 1, so the force is, is negative 8. So negative 8 can just be here. This is 5, this is 10. Meaning just after there, that should be my negative 8. That point here. Next, when x is equal to 2. When x is equal to 2, y or the, the force is 0, it is at that point. Okay, so this was supposed to be pushed a bit because it's supposed to be like a straight line. This should be here. I want to make a very neat graph. When x is 2, 0. Okay, when x is 3, then you have 8. So 8 can be found here. Not really on 10, but just below 10. So my graph, I expect it to be like this. So that point should be somewhere here, the one for three. So that's the graph of um, this force. This is the, the displacement. Okay. Then from your graph, find the network done by this force. So to find the network from x is equal to 0. So we need just to find the area under the curve, like I said. So here I need first to find the area under, I have got this curve. Then I add again area under again this curve. So let's do it. So the first one, I'll start with, I'm going to call this one as area 1. Okay. I'll call this as area 1. I'll call that as area 2. So we'll say work done for 1 is half, that is a triangle, BH. So the work done, it will be half. What is B? B from this point here, this is 2, this is 3, it's 1. What is H? H is 8. From this point all the way to that point, we said it is 8. So, to that point, sorry, it's 8. 
So the answer I'm going to have is 4 joules. So I'll say W1 is for just let's do area 2 area 2 here I put 2 it's half what is the breadth from 0 to 2 they need this point here from 0 all the way to 6 negative 16 these will cancel so how as negative 6 16 now the question is we need to find the network so you add the network is the summation of negative 16 plus 4 so the network is going to be negative 12 joules thus the network that is it for question 3 now I want you guys to to understand physics in a unique way okay so that's why most of the times I tell you to say you access the videos from our website so sometimes if you have not come across our website this is how it looks like when you just go on Chrome just search Transcended Institute then it will take you to this so if you don't have an account you have to create an account okay so like me here average um, I have an account and this is the system which we are using so if you scroll down we have got the courses guys we have got math physics biology and chemistry okay so for example physics if you want to access all the solutions for this tutorial sheet you are from watching right now you just click here physics so now you discover that I have I made videos for all the topics from the first topic I have here dimension analysis vectors kinematics newton's laws of motion projectile motion weak energy and power linear momentum and circular motion and i believe for semester one you end on circular motion that is rotational motion i explained everything in detail like everything step by step okay then there is also this physics 101 tutorial sheet if you click here You'll be able to find the throw sheet one, the throw sheet two, the throw sheet three, the throw sheet four. Now here all the throw sheet are there. I want you to I want just to show you the throw sheet seven. So the throw sheet seven, you you are you are from washing question one, question two, and question three. Question four is here, ten minutes. Question five is here. Question six is here. Question seven is also here. You see, ka? so I've solved all the questions. It's just a matter of you register with Transcended Institute, you'll be able to access full tutorial sheet solutions and the full topics explanation. I want you to understand physics in a unique way. Now, you can pay using the system if you just get an account and then you click on the course. There is an option for paying, so you can pay using the system. That is okay. If you're having issues, just WhatsApp me using that number I've given you in the video okay what's up using that number I've given you in the video it will be very much easy for you to register with us okay